So you guys put a limit on drinking in Bachelor in Paradise. Right. Um, but the, there's no physical activity in Bachelor in Paradise. So now they'll be having some physical activity. Right. So will there still be a limit on drinking? And um, do, what safeguards are you guys going to put in place, especially with what's going on in Hollywood and every workplace environment? First of all, there's a lot of physical activity going on in Bachelor in yeah. Paradise. Um, <laughs> it may not be a competition of sorts, but there's plenty of physical activity. Um, Honestly, you won't notice any changes on this show, as you haven't noticed on the summer show or on The Bachelor that's coming up with Ari, because the things that are important to us are, are, are always important, and they're, they're always going to be important. And that is, first and foremost, the safety of our cast, the safety of our crew, the people that work for us and with us, and, and taking care of them and always looking out for them. And so that's, that's always the most important thing to us. And so we're always going to keep an eye on everybody. We're always going to protect everybody. And that was the way it was this summer. And the way we handled it, um, yeah, it, it involved the shutdown. And so it got very public. But the way we handled that and we treated everybody with dignity and took care of everybody, I was really happy with it. You know, it, it sucked that we ended up shutting the production down. But the good news, we got back going. And the fact that everybody came back, not just our cast, but also our crew, I think spoke volumes about how we handled it and that we did it in the right way. And everybody felt safe, everybody felt protected and treated correctly, down to Demario and Corinne. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll do the same. So who do you see is going to be the most competitive here? I don't know, because you know, I don't know, you know, I know our people obviously intimately because they've been on, you know, either one, two, three of our shows, mm -hmm. but I don't know these international contestants very well. I haven't gotten to know them. So it's gonna, there's gonna be a learning curve uh, on many levels, you know, do, they don't really speak the same bachelor language we speak. Um, there is that kind of bachelor vernacular, you know, where you just kind of go in and I say these certain terms and everybody knows. They don't really know that. There might be a language barrier, you know, not everyone's going to speak perfect English either. So there is going to be that learning curve for all of us, including myself, of how we kind of spoon feed everybody and get this thing going. And I think that's going to be part of the fun is that a little bit of trepidation of when we all go in the, the house, kind of the new kids at school who sit at one table and they're at the other table because they don't really know each other and how they all come together and right. um, should be interesting. But when we get that first international romance, that's going to be, that'll be the goal. The, uh, the gold for me in this is if I have an international love affair, proposal, and marriage. 